to do a Halloween themed movie night. Not really Halloween because we're going to watch Beetlejuice. So either way, still Halloween, I guess. Um, so we're going to do a little movie night. I ran down to the Dollar General and grabbed a, a couple of things just because I decided we was going to watch Beetlejuice. We was going to do it right. Um, when my kids was younger, we used to do stuff like this quite often. Like I would make little treats and snacks and whatever. And it was the best part of the movie. It's been a long time since I've done that. And so, I mean like years since I've done that. And I decided we're going to watch Beetlejuice together. We might as well bring back the good old days and make some snacks, treats, whatever. It's mostly sweet stuff. Um, so for dinner, we're going to have the pizza casserole that I shared last weekend. I mean last week. Yeah. Um, it was super easy and everybody really liked it. We're going to do that for dinner. But I'm also going to make, what was it, three? I think three just fun little treats to go along with movie night as well as we have butter popcorn and I bought some Smart Pop, um, the white cheddar or whatever, it's delicious. But anyways, we're gonna make the three treats and they're super simple and I figured, you know what, we might as well record this. We've not done any Halloween themed videos. Better late than never, 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 never. Better late than never. Which I think I did do a decorate with me over on the other channel that we don't, we're not gonna talk about it. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and get those started because I do want them to be able to sit up, especially the um, hat cookie things we're going to make. I want the icing to be able to dry and set up on those. And I figure we might as well just go ahead and get it out of the way. That way, whenever the evening comes, we can make the pizza casserole. That way, when the movie time comes anyways, we can just sit down, relax, and I can actually sit down from the start of the movie, which is very rare mom life we're just gonna go ahead and get into it okay so first thing i have to do is get some brownies made so we're gonna get them made just as on the package um picked up this big old box of these at sam's club so we'll go ahead and get these made i, I made a sam's club video that will be coming if it's not out yet i'm not sure the order i'm gonna put this in sam's club went live first because i lost every bit of this footage and it took two days to get it back um i haven't decided because of where this is a Halloween themed video, I mean, I wanted to get it out a little bit sooner. So I might get this out before the Sam's Club. We'll see. I don't know, but you'll see both if you want both. So we're just making these as directed on the package and then that's when the magic will happen. And by magic, I mean just a little bit of don't get too excited kind of thing. I don't know if we've ever had the Hershey's triple brown, triple chocolate brownies, <clears throat> but it's what Sam's Club had, so. I mean, it's a brownie, so it's gonna be good. And then, we're gonna use coffee. I always use coffee instead of water, if I have it on hand. If not, I'll use water. But we're gonna use this. How much water am I supposed to put? Two tablespoons, so we're gonna do, we just replaced the water with coffee. And then we need a half a cup of oil, I think. And I've had a couple of people mention or ask about my little dough whisk here. Um, I think I've linked everybody that's asked about it, but I did put it in my Amazon store thing, I think. That's something I just started recently because a friend asked me about it, um, well, a couple months ago, but I'm slow about adding stuff to it. But whenever people ask me about stuff, I will go and add it there, or if I share it, I'll go and add it there, if I can remember. Like I said, I'm slow. But I really like this for mixing dough, and it's much easier to clean than a traditional whisk as well. I want to be able to pop the brownies out of the pan pretty easily. I don't know if that's going to work. We'll save that for the other project. We need it. Um, but I was going to buy parchment paper. I well, needed to buy parchment paper. Can't say it was on the list, but should have bought it. Didn't think about it. It, should, it says to do a 9 by 13 pan. You're supposed to use two bags of the mix but we always almost always just make it into a 9 by 13 because my family tends to like thinner brownies 
for whatever reason. I don't know. And they go farther that way. So that's a plus. When you're a family of six. Well, not really. I guess you'd consider it a family of five. Since Lily doesn't eat brownies. She likes brownie batter. But as far as the actual brownie, she's, she's not a fan. But brownies are one of John's favorites. I think. I mean, I make them for him all the time. Alright, so now we're going to see if we can find one of our microwave bowls. The Pioneer Woman bowls are not microwave safe. I mean, they, I guess they are, maybe. I don't know what they say on them. Uh, do not microwave. Well, that's why. Um, but they get really hot, so we're not using that. I'm going to make sure this is completely dry. We're going to use this and just melt just a little bit of white chocolate melts in the microwave. Um, because we're hopeful that we can make a ghost. We'll see. Let's see. Very much no. Okay, we should be good now. Yep, now the fun part is trying to make ghost out of this. I'm not the most artistic person. Like, sometimes I can do okay. Mm, usually, not so much. So, I'm usually a more in my head kind of thing. Especially if I have to actually use my hands and knock a computer or something. That's, that's what I'm better at. So. Does look like a ghost to you? I'm actually doing it upside down for you. I'm sorry. I'll move you. Start with a circle ish and go down. That one's like be flying or something. It's fine. It's fine. I know if I try to make these smooth and perfect that mm -mm. so we're just gonna try to leave well enough alone. Cause if not, it'll be more of a mess. This was not my idea, by the way. Um, seen it on Pinterest. Super easy. So I was like, that's great. I was going to make a graveyard using Milano cookies. But they didn't have them at Dollar General. And then I was going to just grab something else in placement of them. And then I was like, I got to get fudge strop cookies. And so then I started looking for the fudge strop cookies. Because I seen a small box and it wasn't enough. Um, well, it probably would have been, but I wanted extra because <clears throat> it's one of the kids' favorite cookies. And then I ended up finding the big bag of them, package, whatever, and then I forgot to find the Milano substitute. So, I decided I was still going to make the brownies, just had to make another star for the show. And so, I looked up graveyard brownies on Pinterest, and it brought up the ghost for some reason. So, I was like, that'll work. So, here we are. Well, you're a mess, aren't you? I'm just going to go with it. Can't be too thin or it's not going to come off of the um, parchment paper. That's not parchment paper. It's full paper. Because I didn't get parchment paper. I think I like the body of that one better. With the legs, I guess is what we'll call it. All right, and since we already got this bowl dirtied up, <clears throat> we might as well go ahead and get the Muddy Buddies going here. I don't never eyeball, I mean, I do everything. I don't ever measure nothing. I'm just going to put a spoon of peanut butter. Is that going to be enough? Mm, we might do another. Another spoon of peanut butter. All right, I have to wash that abomination. And then we're going to add whatever this is. About half a cup, maybe, of chocolate chips. I usually wouldn't do the white chocolate. It's not going to hurt it any, but it's just a preference, I guess. Um, 
It's fine. Maybe we'll like it better this way. I'm sure I've done it this way before. But anyway, we're going to melt this really quickly. Well, not really quickly. I like to do 20 second. It's 20 second increments. Mm. 20 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and try to pull all this down from the side so it doesn't burn. It smells so good. There's just something about peanut butter and chocolate. So, so good. Alright, so we got that done. Now we're just going to pour in some of the rice checks. On this part, you want to take it kind of slow. I like pull in from the sides of the bowl. That way, it's not really crunching up your cereal because if you go ham on it, it will crunch up your cereal. And it'll still taste good. It just won't look as pretty, which is, is it really pretty? It's delicious. That's all that matters. Um, so, just go gently on it. Take your time. At first, it's going to look like you don't have enough um, chocolate in it. You might not, but... Usually, you just have to really go slow and just slowly incorporate it into the cereal, and then you'll have enough, usually. All right, so, in a bigger bowl here, I'm going to add a little bit of powdered sugar. I don't know if that's a little bit, but whatever. Now, we're going to add half of this. Have to wait a minute. Your husband. These are like six minutes, give or take. All right. Love you, bye. Love you too, bye. Okay, anyways, we gotta get him some food made. I knew he was coming home for lunch today. I was just trying to beat the clock. Um, but I used, I put about half of that mixture and then this is my popcorn bowl lid that the bowl disappeared. Um, gotta get my brownies out. I think I can turn the oven off. I don't think I have nothing else to cook. <clears throat> Looks delicious. Here. And then it repeat for the rest of it. This one it this is one of Wendy's favorite things, but I haven't got to make it this year, even though she had even mentioned it a few weeks ago. And so I figured, perfect timing. I can just make it, throw a little extra on it, make it look like it's Halloween themed. Not make it look like, because it is, but make it Halloween themed, and then she'll be happy. I'll be happy. This stuff's delicious. There's a lot of times I'm afraid to make it because I don't I don't have self control. Nope, it needs some more work. Any job worth doing is worth doing right. That's just the mood I'm in right now with my food. Tomorrow I might not feel the same. Alright, so the brownies are still a little warm but not super warm. Um, so we're gonna it up right here because I was messing around with it. We're gonna go ahead and put them on. Maybe they'll kind of melt into it but keep their shape. Maybe we'll regret this. We'll know soon enough, I guess. got John back off to work. Um, I went ahead and ate some lunch. I made myself just some quick buffalo chicken. Like, I don't know. Put it into a, a mix. Shredded chicken, buffalo sauce, cream cheese, and a little bit of ranch. And then put it into tortillas, just the small ones like the street tacos. And put it in the air fryer for a few minutes and just crisp it up a little bit. It was pretty good. So I ate those and then John had leftovers. Um, but I got him sent back. Now we're going to go back to work on this. You did see that he took one of the brownies. 
um, after he ate his food, he he said, you got any good dessert in there? And he knew what I was doing. I mean, he came in when I was working on the brownies. So, of course, I went ahead and cut into them for him. Because why not? But we melted a little bit more of the chocolate chips. You could do white chocolate on this part. It actually would look better, but I think my kiddos would prefer it this way. So just a little bit there, but we're also going to add some eyeballs to our ghost here. So to do that, I'm just gonna take some of this leftover chocolate here. And like draw it on. winking I would have just done it out of the baggie but I was a little bit worried that it would mess it up but I mean obviously it wouldn't have been no worse oh no it is fine you are fine. You're gorgeous. And then this one, I accidentally dropped um, a lid on. So he's extra tore up, but it's fine. It's been a long night of scaring people, I guess. For him. It would have been easier if I'd have done this straight out of the bag, but I thought this would make it look better. I'm usually the, just the worst critic for stuff I do. Like, I don't get it twisted. I know these are pretty bad. Kids will love it and I'm just over here like finding the two or three little things. In this case, it's a lot. See, I told you. But I'll be over here finding the just the smallest little thing that I could have or should have done different and they're just enjoying it. So, it's one of the good things about kids. They don't see you when you fall short or when you could do better. They just love you anyways and appreciate it, so. Now, back to this that I ate way too much of. This is just, I don't know, it's too good. Okay, it's delicious. We're gonna go ahead and just drizzle on, drizzle on the chocolate. Yes, I still got it on me. Doesn't have to have no rhyme or reason to it, really, because we're gonna break it up. Halloween sprinkles. I had so many cute ones of these. At Walmart, I got this one and then one that's like salted caramel hot chocolate sprinkles. But I'm not going to put the hot chocolate on them because it doesn't have the right like color scheme that I'm going for. It's more of a, pretty much, um, it's more fall colors and it's salted caramel and Wendy doesn't like caramel. So we're going in with these Day of the Dead sprinkles instead. Dr. Seuss. to really get the sprinkles on it's got them big hard ones in it that i hate but the kids don't mind them so but what i was trying to say i think i don't even know um i should have bought more than the two i bought i bought the sort of sort what i bought the salted caramel ones and then these just because i like the bright colors but we didn't have no halloween sprinkles in there other than the ones i bought so might need to okay too many of you might need to get us some more and 
And if sprinkles go bad, I'll never know because I have, I keep them forever. A little bit more to the ghost brownies. We might regret it, but we're gonna do it anyways. Okay, so since I did give John one and I kind of put the ghost on here funny, I'm gonna go ahead and cut them into pieces. Some are gonna be bigger than others because of our landscape that we got gonna have going on here. Um, I wasn't, I didn't think it through when I laid the ghost on it. Like, I did think it through because I was like, we'll just do little ones in the middle. What is that shape? It's fine. Um, I thought we would just do little ones in the middle and then do bigger ones along the top and bottom. So, it's fine. I'm gonna cut your head off a little bit. Again, it's fine. I'm going to just go ahead and do this with a plain brownie because that's going to be way too big. If not, I might do another little plain brownie here. Okay, so now what we got is just a little bit of green icing. I couldn't find my grass um, tip. So I'm just going in with this one. enough anyways I mean it's just for you know my bad bud it's fine Good thing we was done. We have some of these chocolate sprinkles. I'm just gonna go back and add just a little bit to the, uh, what? A little bit of this to the bottom of the grass. No, that was not the bottom, but you know, doesn't matter. I wish I had some moon sprinkles or something. Some bats, Ooh, black would've been cute if I had some black. Um, no, that's not working. If I had black icing, I could do little bats, but I don't want to make no black icing. I'm trying to stop thinking about that idea. But it would have been cute. A little moon, a little bat, maybe even a little cat. No, I'm kidding. I could not have ever done a cat. My little bat would have just been a little swoop. So. Okay, we're not too mad at these now. I just thought the ghost alone just wasn't enough. Some star sprinkles would have been good too. It's fine. Remember when I said I couldn't leave well enough alone? I can't. This is for the next project, but I went in there looking in my sprinkle stash and I found these. I um, found these jumbo confetti here. We're going to make some orange moons. And then I went and also found these, which is just not going to focus. Come on, he's focusing on the ghost face. I mean, how good is that? It's obviously a wonderful face. Um, but we're going to go through and get some of these yellow stars out, too. We don't know what well enough alone means around here. I don't hardly ever buy actual um, popping bags. I almost always just do this unless I buy a kit because... I don't know, it just makes sense to me.
that I bought these specifically for these brownies. So, I don't know how to put the pumpkin. I think we're going to do it like this. Yeah. Not standing up. Because what would be the point of that? So. Yeah, I was getting the stuff out to do our last treat. And I found them and I was like, well, I gotta add them. So here we are. Now we're good. Even better. So now onto our last treat is the witch's hat. So this idea came from my friend Erin. She sent me a reel on Instagram. So I thought then we'll work good for our Beetlejuice. What are you saying, woman? Our Beetlejuice movie night. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, I don't know how many of these I'm gonna put together because it's really just super simple, but it's more like for looks kind of thing. This is the only, you can't see it, but this is the only kisses that my Dollar General had. Oh, it's fine. You can't like see the nut. I was worried that it was going to be like little pieces of almond in it. Delicious. So. Now, we'll just go around the bottom with some of the icing. You could have dyed this, but I did not want to take the time to do that. And you just put it down. And I don't want none of the big. And then you put sprinkles on it. Maybe I should have used, um, like sugar sprinkles. Maybe. I don't know if you can see it because I can't see the viewfinder. Hey friends and with that I thank you for hanging out with me and just making some halfway decent snacks um the kids really enjoyed them they was all really good the little witch hats was phenomenal um it tastes like a s'more without the roasted part you know but so good um but thank you for hanging out with us and we'll see you all next time as always remember show grace be content and live blessed bye guys